Bye. Lose legal. Q logo, please. We are ready for start of game. Okay, we are on. Service is what creates customer loyalty, and we're willing to stand on our heads to keep you coming back. In fact, we'll stand on our heads and do cartwheels. We'll chuckle. We'll ride unicycles. We'll ride unicycles while twirling plates on the ends of sticks. Anything to show you that you're number one. We'll wear funny hats. We'll cover ourselves. <coughs> okay, looks like our player is all set. I think the audio input level should be at 8. We're at 30 seconds. Donnie here at your back and calm. My job is to cultivar a deep understatement of the game's instructionals. Shall I proceed? Yeah? Well then, girdle your loins. You'll see a whole slaw of questions, and when you obfuscate the correct answer, press the button next to it. There will be a timer counting down, so the more harried your actions, the more money you'll get. Or revanquish. Okay, you're ready on set. Player one, you failed to enter your John Hancock. Let's call you Princess. Because why would anyone go by the name Princess? That is ridiculous. Ten seconds. Off you glow. Check the foghorn, please. To go to black. Go ahead and touch Three. someone with other people's fingers. I am Cookie Masterson, and this game may contain mild violence and full frontal donkey nudity. You're telling me I came all this way for a one-player game? Come on! And today's wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. There may not be a lot of vitamins in hamburger, but there are plenty of vitamins in Warren Burger. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Okay, what are we waiting for? First up, astronomy. How many Earths could you stuff into the volume of Uranus before it just couldn't take anymore? 6, 63, 630, or 6300? You could fit a little over 63 Earths into the massive volume of Uranus. 64 if you really relax. <laughs> It's time for five, five dollar, five dollar artwork. Suppose Jackson Pollock had become a sandwich artist at Subway. What would his supervisor have noted about his performance? Wastes time by precisely laying each vegetable, overuses the sauce squirters, insists on cutting bread at a 45 degree angle, or always shapes the ham into flowers. Not much time left. Eat fresh, answer stupid. <laughs> this would have worked. Pollock was a pioneer of the drip method, a style where forceful, rapid, and impulsive strokes of sauce, I mean paint, were directly applied onto the canvas. <laughs> and in the time it took to complete this question, five new subways just opened up in your town. Enjoy. <laughs> Coming up next... Who's the dummy? So, I've been practicing ventriloquism lately, and I'm getting pretty good. I just have a little trouble with my B's, P's, and M's. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my partner, Billy O'Brien. Say hello, Billy O'Brien. Hello, Dilly O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, it's good to see you. I wish I could say the same thing, Dunny. Oh, just, just get on with the question. Calm down, Mr. Nan. So I've been planning a trick to get away from this, Dunny, that for some un unresolved legal trodlins, I can't have a task torch. Which of these tradical destinations is a U.S. territory and therefore wouldn't require a task tour to travel to? The Dahanas, Cuba, Guan, or Dominican Republic? <laughs> Looks like you don't need a task tour for the Republic of Neurons. <laughs> 
Smart people choose this. Guan is United States territory. <laughs> you know, Billy, wherever you go, I have to go too. You think I don't know that? You know how embarrassing it is for me when I'm on a date and I need you to unzip my pants? Take a good look at... I'll dance, but I'm not wearing a hard hat. Which of these characters is not dressed to resemble a member of the village people? Woody from Toy Story, Bob the Builder, Captain Hook, or Chief Wiggum? Construction worker, cop, and cowboy are all village people. Pirate is not. I always wondered what village those people came from. Wherever it was, it seemed very fun and career-oriented. Yeah. Say hello to Pop Rock, and it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's the name of a pope or the name of a Britney Spears song. If it's a pope, press the square button. If it's from Britney, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 delicious communion wafers. Each one wrong costs you 300 strands of hair. And God says you must finish this thing in 30 seconds or less. Or he will send Kevin Federline to your house. Ready? Let's go. Innocent. Lucky. Urban. Outrageous. Hilarious. Toxic. Lonely. Well, nobody's perfect. Say three Hail Marys and recite the lyrics to Womanizer. Another thing the Pope and Brittany have in common? Neither of them wear panties. That brings it close to round one. And surprisingly, you're doing pretty well. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And don't forget, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Let's keep going. How about, I pezzed my pants. Suppose Pez comes out with a Perez Hilton dispenser. If your Perez Hilton Pez is packed completely full of Pez, just like Perez is chock full of juicy celebrity gossip, how many Pez could you suck from Perez's neck? 8 Pez per Perez Pez, 10 Pez per Perez Pez, 12 Pez per Perez Pez. I bet this Pezzes you off, huh? <laughs> One right answer coming up. A standard Pez dispenser, whether shaped like Perez or not, holds 12 pieces of candy. And they say eating too much candy is bad for your health. But I have to say it's probably better for you than reading his blog. Question seven. Up next, hole in more than one. Since Tiger Woods got married in 2004, in which year was Tiger Woods' wood anniversary? 2005, 2006, 2008, or 2009? The five-year anniversary is the Wood anniversary, and 2009 was the year of Wood's, uh, you know, hard times. Yeah, I'm guessing he wishes there was a little less Wood that year. What in chicken is picking out a mate? Guess I'll marry eight. Bucker up for foodies in a half shell. Given the dietary habits of tortoises, what would the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises most likely order at Pizza Hut? A Super Supreme Pizza? Meat Lover's Pizza? Hold the pizza, meat only? A Veggie Lover's Pizza? Or no pizza, just a two liter of Coke? Here's what a right answer looks like. Unlike turtles, most tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises would probably order the Veggie Lover's Pizza. Also, and I've done some research on this, very few tortoises are actually ninjas. <laughs> this pizza has the wrong answer baked right into the crust. <laughs> but your supreme mistake has brought you a supreme reward because you've just won 
Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. Nothing keeps children happy and healthy like John Roberts, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Samuel Alito. Yay! I want Clarence Thomas! This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. This one's called... Don't come in here, I'm feldsparring! What do a Victoria's Secret model and the mineral feldspar have in common? Both are extremely hot, both are partially synthetic, both are thin and malleable, or both have perfect... The cleavage of a mineral refers to the way it can be split along a parallel surface, and feldspars is perfect in one direction. So that's what a Victoria's Secret model and feldspar have in common. And also both rarely speak English. Hold me, never let me go. This one's known as Harold and Kumar go to the Middle Ages. If it were like the castles of yore, how could White Castle defend itself from the marauding Harold and Kumar? Paint the restaurant black, build the restaurant in a valley, throw onions at them to blind them, or pour hot fryer oil on them? One incredibly horrific means of defending a castle was to pour hot oil on attackers from up above. It was also how medieval chefs got the idea to deep fry meat. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 bucks if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 4,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The hair up there. For some, every day's a bad hair day. Look. To celebrate your awesome score, I will now say something to you I've never said to anyone else in my life. Are you ready? All right, here it is. My name is Janet Slutskowski, and I'm a penguin trainer. There you go. You don't know Jack! Good game, everyone. Donnie, what's next? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Hi, Anthony Matterhorn here for Blood Co., the Tri-County's number one resource for your commercial blood needs. And right now, we got more blood than we know what to do with. We got in buckets, baggies, pots, and pans. You name it, it's filled with blood. It's a bloody mess at Blood Co. And I don't mean in a British way. I mean, there's stuff that was once circulating through a living thing all over the place way. Having a party? Need a transfusion? Come to Blood Co. We don't ask questions. Need lamb's blood? We probably have it. We don't really keep track of that sort of thing. Blood Co. We got blood. Why don't you know where it came from? Blood Co. When you need blood, you gotta go to Blood Co. Blood Co. <laughs> Each year, tens of dozens of puppeteers suffer serious hand injuries because they didn't use the proper lubrication before stuffing their hands into a puppet. These injuries can range from minor chafing and small blisters, all the way to the loss of a limb, and death. 
Luckily, there is a solution. Felt up hand puppet lube was specifically designed by scientists to provide the lubrication that feels good, but also keeps puppeteers safe. I feel good. Uh, my puppet feels good. And because of felt up, well, we're both healthy. If you or someone you love uses hand puppets, don't they deserve to get felt up? If I didn't get my son felt up when he was younger, he might not be here today. Felt up hand puppet lube for your loved ones. One ticket to bloody bloody murder, please. Wait a minute. How old are you? Seventeen. I don't believe you. You look six. Aw, man, shucks. Hey, kid, if you want to seem older and get into R-rated movies, you gotta smell older. Here, try a bottle of Old Man Essence. Hey, me! One ticket to bloody bloody murder, please. You have the mature smell of mothballs and elderly B.O. Sorry about before. Thanks! And thanks, old man! Remember, kids, buy old man essence so you too can smell old enough to live! Have you ever felt like a real bore at a party? Then how about a class at Guild Celebrity Voice Emporium? I have had years of experience tutoring people to sound like other people. With my program of just six easy classes, you'll soon be making quite the... IMPRESSION! I can finally mimic celebs just like the rest of my friends. Hey, I'm Ed Burns. Or what about this one? Hey, I'm Skeet Ulrich. Impersonate anyone! It's easy once you know the secret! Listen up! Hi! I'm Rosie Perrette! And remember, sign up now! Go ahead, make my day! And now a message from the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. I'm attorney Edgar J. Penrod. Have you recently been in an auto accident? Have you suffered major injuries? If you answered yes to both of these questions, then chances are you're the person I hit with my car last week. So call the law offices of Edgar J. Penrod today. Because hey, nobody wants to go to court, right? The law offices of Edgar J. Penrod. Sorry, our bad. We're not leaving this house, mister, until you brush your teeth. Arg, this is so stupid! Hey parents, news flash. Brushing your teeth is lame. Drinking out of a keg is cool. Hi, I'm Al Grin, owner of Grin Toothpaste Kegs. And it's time to turn your kid's toothbrush and sand off into a toothbrush and keg stand. Hold on to the keg, Mark. Your father and I have got your legs. Brush! 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 Ha 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 ha. That looks like a great time. Go from a dud parent to a stud parent with these cool toothpaste kegs. Isn't it time you threw a party in your kid's mouth? Tap into a healthy smile with Grin Toothpaste Cake.